Welcome back to Vandasol Plays. We are playing Hex, Shards of Fate. We're going to retake on Guru of the Wounded Petal. Uh, last time you overwhelmed us with all those Shin Hairs. Uh, we can try this, but we're going to need another land to show up. When your cards are fixed, we create one more Shin Hair, create the many plus one instead. What? That's bad. Hey, we got land. Um, yours is much... No, come on, man. Oh, you are kidding me. And as you hang, it's plus one, plus one. I still want that one dead. You're doing it again. Okay, cool. That's peachy. This deck is silly. Troops you control get plus two plus O till end of turn. Great. No, put that guy back in your damn hand. All right, awaken, come on. Swift strike, okay. Can't be blocked except by troops with attack less than their attack. Alright, so the Swift Strike's gonna go there. We'll have all three of these block them for the six damage. Oh my god, Angel of Glory. That could be useful. Just get that guy out of the way before he goes off. If 
Five or more, remove them all and turn into feral beasts, okay. Let's shift the Swift Strike over to the Angel, just in case. Spalker Stewart. Shift... No, 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 no. I'll shift her Steadfast onto the Angel, and shift... Deathsmath's ability onto the angel as well. No, no, let's shift that over to... The Deadeye Slicer, actually. Because now it can't be blocked. We win! Okay. Angel won us the game. That is what it's there for. Surprises me every time. We had Dex Sleeve, a Zoom, Grand Concubunny. Okay. We got Adventure Zone Pack. Invigorating Breeze, target troop gets plus two, plus two this turn and gain two health. We're gonna have to try that one out. The Adaptatron. I think someone was telling me about this card. That's great. Pay one gets plus one speed, pay two, two defense and sky guard, three, three and swift strike, four, four defense and steadfast, five, five and crush. That's going in. Pyronite. Enters play, troops you control, get plus one, plus zero this turn. Imperial Grips for Emperor Ito's Will. Troops you control, get plus one, plus one for each inherit in your crypt this turn. Uh, this would turn them into quick actions. And then Rookie Boots for deployment orders. Minus one in all zones for each troop you control. Sacrifice this, draw two cards. Deployment orders would instead have draw two cards. Those cards get minus one cost. Adaptatron Invigorating Breeze. I'm used to training students who are much farther along in their studies, so I'm impressed with how far you've come on Raw Ability Mage. If I had the time, I would teach you how to hone your innate gifts to become even more formidable. Thank you, Guru. You must go. Wait until nightfall to leave so our enemies are less likely to spot you crossing the lake. Farewell. What, so he's just not going to train me? Whatever, bro. All right. Scrim Skull Sorcerer is terrible. So we're going to take that out. And then we'll also take out... I'm going to say a Spirit Bound Spy. They're not terrible, but obviously the Adaptatron's better. Adaptive Helm say? It looks like it's giving you the same thing. Oh, target troop. Okay. And Cog in the Machine. Zero target troop gets life drained. Anyway, there's the Adaptatron. You know, put in the Invigorating Breeze. I think we actually put in metal. Yeah, we didn't want that. 
Although maybe we should, it's pretty good. Um, but I don't know what we'd take out for it, so never mind. Anyway, don't we have something for the Adaptatron? We do, okay. And it's not like we're wearing a helmet anyway. Also, Cog of the Machine. Do we have the Cog of the Machine? We don't. Okay. But anyway, now the Adaptatron can give those abilities to other people if it wants to. Alright. Tune in tomorrow. We'll do some more hex.